Hey, this is Jeff with Miller's RV with an announcement today of some awards won by some of our products. Before we begin, please do me a favor. Would you subscribe to this channel, click that like button, and let us know what you think about it. If you have any questions or anything you want a video done on, please let us know. We want to help you enjoy the journey. And one of the ways we can do it is answering the questions you have. So let us know what questions you have. TJ, the marketing millennial, will get on it, and we'll answer those questions for you in a future video. So a couple big announcements. Winnebago earlier this year was honored with a ton of awards by some national publications and some national um, RV-related businesses. Some of you are like, well, why do I care? What does it matter? Well, these are companies that literally know all the industry. So they know all of the products. They see all the products. They go to all of the unveilings of all the new event, new vehicles out there and the new products and the new features. And they have picked Winnebago for some really prestigious awards. So one of the products is the new Mini 2630 MLRK. Now, we don't have this floor plan right now because we just can't keep it in stock. But we will be getting another one in soon. Uh, and what it does, it was voted the mid-price travel trailer of the year. So it's in that mid-price range. It's a little bit bigger than our Micro Mini or our Hikes, uh, but a really great unit. And we will have them as soon as we can get one in stock. But it was the trailer of the year because of the features and benefits uh, that was put out by RV News. But the one that really kind of blew my, blew my mind, uh, there's a motorhome motor manufacturer, uh, excuse me, a motorhome magazine, RV Business, puts out a RV of the year. They pick one new RV that's come out, or really doesn't necessarily have to be new, but an RV that they say, hey, this has got the greatest, um, the biggest impact and change, the biggest differences that are made, kind of setting trends in the market and stuff like that. And this year, I'm just really proud to announce that the Winnebago Hike 100 has won the RV of the year by RV Business Magazine. It's a really big deal. And I think you'll see, we're gonna go over a few quick features on what the, R the Hike 100 has. I think you'll really see it. We have two different floor plans in stock, a couple different uh, color cho choices to choose from those. But we'll be able to show you a couple of these features, what you think about them. Um, and I think you'll find that you agree that, man, there's some really great stuff that you wouldn't expect on this small unit. Now, before we begin that, just give you an idea, the Hike 100 is really designed to be towed by those smaller vehicles or people that wanna be able to get off road and go off grid. So for example, the vehicles weigh between 3,100 and 3,200 pounds base weight. So towable by a ton of different vehicles out there. But you can see from behind me, the vehicles sit up a little higher than most and they have that Tamron style axle wheel there's no full axle going across, so they have better ground clearance. And so if you want to take this off-road, if you want to take it on a little more rugged terrain, it's ready to go for that. You don't have to worry about you know messing up your camper because it's designed to go to that. Um, even little things like the fact that it's got aluminum wheels and Goodyear tires. A lot of the tires you look out there on RVs, when you look at a trailer, like you don't recognize the brand. And, and I do this for a living and I don't recognize the brand because they're really just the cheapest thing they can find to put on them from a lot of the manufacturers. Well, this has got Goodyear tires, just like our motorhomes do. So a really great quality tire and it's an off-road tire. So the suspension, the way the axle, the clearance for the ground clearance is are all done to be able to give you both the ability to tow comfortably when you're going down the road and the ability to hit off road and go kind of get out in the woods. Now, speaking of being out in the woods, one of the things you don't have is a place to plug into. So another thing these come with is a 200 watt solar panel already included on the unit. So it gives you that solar charging ability that's already out there. Um, they're really easy to tow as well. Like I said, I just towed one uh, recently back with, behind one of our little Ram ProMaster vans, which has got a 3,500 pound tow capacity, uh, and it did great. I didn't even know that thing was behind it. So really, really easy tow. I uh, think you'll really like it, but let's take a couple, a look at a couple of the features that really kind of set the hike apart. And you'll see them now on the hike, but I promise you in the next couple of years, you'll start see everybody copy them, which is something people like to do with Winnebago. Winnebago charts the course and everybody else wants to come and copy it, but they just don't do it quite as good. Let's take a look. Okay, so what are the most unique features of the hike and the Hike 100, uh, which this unit is the Hike 100 here, the 1316 TB, is the exoskeleton. And you can see it, it's on the front, it's on the rear, we have it on the back. This exoskeleton looks really cool, looks really kind of edgy and different, looks like an off-road vehicle, but it's not for looks. It's actually a structure that you can hang a bike from, you can mount things too. So it gives you that extra storage capacity. Um, if you wanna carry something, you can have an already ready-made ability to strap it on and any of the uh, mounts that are out there in the industry that just mount to a round pole will mount on this and be able to give you that ability to lock things on. They also do some really cool things like they have this box. So this is a, uh, more of the narrow width trailers and the narrow width trailer is designed to be able to make it more towable and also give that ability going off road, not being as big. But above the wheel wells, they put this great storage box, which is a steel storage box 
you can put cooking stuff out there and have your outdoor kitchen right there, or you can just have storage stuff if you want to have your tools or, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. And that's one of the things you'll see. A lot of this is designed not to be so compartmentalized of like, hey, this is an RV to go camping and you can't use it for anything else. Because Winnebago knows, primarily from their motorhome side, that people buy RVs to, in, to engage in some kind of passion they have. Whether it's the great outdoors, whether it's hiking, whether it's mountain bike riding, whether it's, um, whether it's going camping in a campground, whether it's tailgating with your friends at a football game. Doesn't matter what, you know, we don't need to know, we don't need to tell you how to use the RV. We want you to be able to use the RV the way that, that helps you enjoy the journey, right? So great things for the box, great things for the storage. Inside of this, you'll see all the normal stuff. So we've got, of course, a regular door, we've got the grab handle built in, the aluminum instead of steel step, so they're not gonna rust in that. Um, I always love these little uh, screenshots. They close the door behind you, which is just great, because then if you're coming out, you know, this is closed, and you come outside, let it go, and it closes back, keep the bugs out from outside, and I do not like bugs, so I like to keep them outside. Um, but you also see it has the Everchill um, refrigerator instead of a traditional RV or fridge, so it's a great uh, way to get off-road with that and give you good cooling, but it also has a convection microwave, so you don't have an oven in here, but if you want to cook or bake anything and you have a little portable generator or do have the ability to plug in, you've got a convection microwave. This one is also a toy hauler, and we'll look at that. The toy hauler has an access for a bicycle, uh, could even be a small motorcycle or something, but or even a kayak coming across, but it gives you that ability to have that, and then when you don't need it, you have that flexible space to be able to use however you want it. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so I'm sitting in here. I've got the couch that normally can mount when you're using as a toy hauler, can mount flush against the wall and strap against the wall, and can flip down to give you a double-sized bed here. It's got two bunks. The top one does flip up, so you can actually use this other side, put the mattress down here and use it as an extra seating area. Uh, and the table even is removable, so it can be used outside. Again, going back to that multi-use vehicle, allowing you to be able to set it up how you want to, but you can take the table. If you don't need it, you can leave the table at home. But if you, it's not like a regular trailer where it's in the way and always going to be there. It's easy to move outside and use it outside. Or like I said, if you don't need it, leave it at home. Um, I love the fact too, that, that, you know, the material and stuff they're using here, it's very easy to clean, very nice on that. The bunk beds have USB built into them. So little things like that, that you're going to need. I mean, I can, I'm sitting right here and can see three USB plugs um, I'm not even looking around for any more, but there's three of them right here in the bed area. So you can charge your phone, charge your watch, all that kind of stuff right there without having to bring your extra charger. It also allows it to work on 12 volt because it's 12 volt power. So you don't have to worry about having 110 and still being able to charge your, your devices. So great thing there. Now you can see from here as well, the back of this opens up. We've got a Molly panel on the back door to store your gear, to put your straps and stuff. And this will allow access to be able to bring in your bikes or bring in your, um, the uh, kayaks or any of those other things you want to do, or if it's just your kids. I mean, if you're buying this because you want to be able to take the kids and go places off road, you got bunk beds, place for mom and dad, and you have room for all of the kids' bikes, for their toys, whatever you want to bring with you, all of it sitting here. It does have a full bath, it's got the sink right behind us. Um, really great little setup, lots of room. Um, for a very small trailer, it's really a very comfortable space and has, again, that flexibility to use it how you want to use it. Let's look outside. I want you to see what the, the rack looks like and the different things you can use to mount it. Okay, very easy access to the storage, really nice compartment. You see this rail down here. And again, I'm not a small guy, 200 pounds. This is solid, tied right into the frame, but you can also see they've got a rack up top. Now, you might say, how in the world are you gonna be able to get to that rack? They've already got that figured out. Okay, you can see right here, they've already got a mount. The ladder, just like we talked about being able to take it off-road, they have this flush against the, the side of the trailer so it's not catching limbs and stuff like that. And all you have to do is pull these two pins and then the ladder folds out. And again, 200 pound guy can climb up and get up here to the full rack. So you do have a full rack here you can attach to the different places. And I've got the 200 pound, the 200 watt solar panel right back on the back of this, but it sits below the edge of the rack. So you can still mount something above the rack to carry it when you're not at the campground yet. So great way to set it up. Outside shower is included in this thing. Electric tongue jack and electric uh, scissor jacks. So this thing is ready to go, ready to take you camp and get you off road and allow you to enjoy whatever it is your outdoor activity is, whether it's the beautiful sunny or rainy day, whatever it is that helps you enjoy the journey, this Hike 100 RV of the Year is gonna help you do it.
Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.